interesting because people will come off of Hollywood sets and they'll come on our movie sets and they're like, this is crazy, yeah. you know, because I'm so <laughs> I'm so used to an environment where it's kind of cutthroat and we don't even know why we're here or what the movie we're working on is, what it's about. And uh, I'm just here for a paycheck. And now I feel like I'm a part of a family of close knit people who love one another. And you genuinely care about me and my family, my marriage and my health. And when you plug love into how you operate as a leader, uh. it affects how you treat everybody from the top to the bottom. Guys, I'm so excited to be back together with you again after all these years. Yes. Yeah, hey, Kirk, good to see you. Oh, We're pumped, man. Oh. Always good to talk to you, Kirk. So great to talk to you both. Thanks for taking time. Um, so we worked on Fireproof back in the day, and you guys have been coming out with movie after movie that has been inspiring and, and encouraging us. And now, what, 12 years later, 13 years later? How, how long has this been? 15 years later? We're coming back. It was time. Not with Fireproof 2, but with Life Mark. And I'm so excited. Yes, it is, man. It's, it's, we're excited about this story. We're excited about what it means. We're excited about when it's coming out because of what we see going on in our culture. And it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's going to grab people's hearts. And it, the fact that it is a true story is very exciting for us. Now, I'd love to tell everybody what it's all about, but you're the true storytellers. So tell everybody, what, what is Life Mark about? Life Mark is about a young girl. She was about 18 years old in high school, and she uh, was pregnant. And so she initially went to get an abortion. And as she's laying on the table, uh, she hears uh, this voice say, get up, there's still time. And she gets up, stops the procedure out before it starts, rolls off the table, places the baby for adoption. And then a couple, Christian couple that could not have a children, uh, adopted this little baby boy. And then about 18 years later, the the young man named David, he's about 18, he got to cross paths with his biological mother who wondered if he would hate her. And that interaction was filmed and man, it'll melt your heart. It was so beautiful and powerful. And he just thanked her. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for placing me for adoption. I love my family. I'm so grateful. And she just melted. And it is a beautiful story of life, of the beauty of adoption, of family. And uh, we, when we saw this uh, story, and we could talk about in what form it was in at the time, uh, we said, man, this is an important story. And the Lord, even in 2019, when we first saw it, prompted us to make this into a feature film with you. That's and right. so, and now it's coming out this fall. Oh, man. I, could, I couldn't be more excited. Now, I want you to tell the story of how we came back together after all these years to make a film together. Yeah, well, first, we so enjoyed Fireproof. And as you know, we've stayed connected over the years. But when you called me in early 2019 and said, Alex, I have seen one of the most powerful short documentaries called I Lived on Parker Avenue. And you can look that up on YouTube, any of you viewers. I Lived on Parker Avenue. And Kirk introduced that little video to, to me. I shared it with Stephen. We got to talking, and the Lord just turned our hearts in the direction of life, in the direction of adoption. And, uh, and so we decided to make this movie, met the people it's actually about, which was really great. And I think the audience is going to meet them in a few minutes, but and, but we were, we're so delightful to meet them and then to partner together, Kirk. We're executive producers as well as uh, in the film. And man, I can't wait to see what the Lord does with this film. It's called Life Mark for, for the audience. Life Mark comes out uh, in September. And, and you would think that we decided to make this movie and write this script after everything that had happened at the Supreme Court with the overturning of Casey and, and Roe versus Wade, but we didn't. This was the Lord's doing. I mean, this was God's Absolutely. providential timing. This was years ago that we began this whole process, and uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. What was it about this story in particular that that really caught your attention? Because, I mean, people send you guys scripts all the time. And besides that, you right. really don't make movies about other people's ideas. So why this one? The Holy Spirit prompts us to do things that don't make sense at the time. But then we look back in the rearview mirror and we realize how perfect the Lord's timing is with all of this. And so uh, we're already passionate about life and supporting the unborn. It's very biblical that God uh, molds us together in our mother's womb. It says in Jeremiah, he knows us before we're even born. Uh, and I think about Proverbs chapter six, he hates hands that shed innocent blood. 
is what scripture says, that Proverbs 31 says we should speak up for those who can't speak for themselves, those that are destined for destruction. We need to rise up and defend them. You know, it's just to speak up for those that, that cannot speak for themselves. And so we're already passionate about that issue. We're passionate about the issue of adoption as well. What Alex and I do with every film is we will go into a season of prayer and we'll say, Lord, we've got our ideas. We have these cool, really action, you know, fun adventure, time travel kind of movie ideas. But Lord, what is on your heart and what do you know people need to hear? And he usually directs us in a new direction that we were not expecting. He gives us a piece about it. There's confirmation in scripture and uh, in the circumstances. And so when you contacted us, Kirk, and we were beginning to pray, we were initially just saying, hey, Kirk, great idea. Go make this movie if you want to. And then the Lord started stirring our hearts yeah. saying, I'm in this. So as you know, we've moved forward by faith since 2019, having no idea what was about to happen. And, you know, you know as well as we do that the line to adopt children is very long. Most people don't realize how many people would love to adopt a child. And mm-hmm. so we see these two things coming together. Yes, Roe versus Wade was overturned. And yes, work has to be done at the state level as well. Churches are going to have opportunities to step up. But the, the adoption ministry is going to explode. And we're excited about that. And you guys, I've I've been on a lot of movie sets and television sets, but I have never experienced the kind of environment that is just uh, enveloping to everyone who's working on the movie that I experience when I work with you. I mean, from the very first day, we get together and people are praying and you are honoring everyone within the crew uh, from the greatest to the least, from those who are up front and under the spotlights to those who are working behind the scenes. And you always cover your projects in prayer. It's totally different than other Hollywood productions that uh, most actors are a part of. Why do you do that? And have you, did you see it make a difference on Life, Mark? Uh, I would say, Kirk, we weren't trained in Hollywood. We didn't grow up on Hollywood sets, so we didn't know any different. Because we grew up in ministry and we've been in church work, working with volunteers in an environment of unity, love, prayer, focusing in on kingdom causes, that's what we translated onto our film sets. And so we want to create an environment where we're all working together. Everybody's loved and valued in their giftedness. Whether it's the lead actor or it's the PA person bringing water to the set, everybody's important. And so we know that God is going to get the glory. And so what we try to do is create an environment where we're praying together. We are on the same vision together and everybody is walking in respect and love towards one another. And it's interesting because people will come off of Hollywood sets and they'll come on our movie sets and they're like, this is crazy, you know, because I'm so I'm so used to an environment where it's kind of cutthroat and we don't even know why we're here or what the movie we're working on is, what it's about. And uh, I'm just here for a paycheck. And now I feel like I'm a part of a family of close knit people who love one another. And you genuinely care about me and my family, my marriage and my health. And when you plug love into how you operate as a leader, Uh. it affects how you treat everybody from the top to the bottom. And it's a lot more fun. We have so much more fun on our sets. And then the Lord shows up in that context. That set was so much fun. And you do feel like you're part of a family. One of my favorite things was to come to work uh, early every morning. And I love this. We would have a, a, a breakfast that was, was gourmet in terms of how, how good it tastes. And we'd have eggs and bacon and coffee and everything. And you actually paid people to come and have a delicious breakfast together with other people. And you'd have a devotional uh, message, an inspiring, encouraging message. And you would actually acknowledge people for their hard work and their team spirit and got everybody so fired up and grateful to be there that I think that brought out the best in people to put forth their best performance for the best result. So before we go to break, uh, tell everybody again, where can they find out more about LifeMark so that they can get their tickets at the theaters? You can go to lifemarkmovie.com and uh, you can see where it's already, where it's gonna be playing. You can book theaters. Uh, You can watch trailers and find out about resources connected to the film. But we hope that people will use this not only for entertainment purposes, but as a tool to rally people around them to not only support life, but adoption, family. This is a great opportunity for the church and believers to rise up and use this film to minister to everybody in their circumference of influence. And this isn't some sort of a sneak attack against pro-choice people. This isn't that at all. This is genuinely an honest telling of a true story 
about two people who were connected after 18, 19 years that you're going to meet in just a couple of minutes. And it's a beautiful and powerful story of the value of every life and the gift of adoption. On that note, let's show some scenes from LifeMark. And when we come back, we're gonna talk more with the Kendricks about how the subject of adoption has hit close to home for members of the production crew right after this. You remember asking to see that when you were about eight? Dad, is that Brian and Melissa? Yeah. We stopped for lunch on the way home from church. And out of the blue, you asked us if you could meet your birth mother. And so mom uh, asked you what you would say to her if you could meet her. And you said, I would say, hi, my name is David. <laughs> and then you asked us if we had a picture of them. So when we got home, I showed that to you. And you looked at it for a minute and you said, wow, they look like nice people. And you gave it back to me. How old were they? I think she was 18 and he was 17. She was pregnant when she graduated. Think about that. Imagine how scared she must have been. And then deciding to place you for adoption. It must have been the hardest decision of her entire life. I'm so glad she did. David, God gave you to me and mom as a gift. And you will always be our son. Thanks for watching my interview with the Kendrick Brothers, executive producers of the new film, Life Mark. Don't want to miss future conversations? Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.